We're going to start this off with Gio Garcia. Go ahead, Gio. Uh, thanks, uh, Raheem. First of all, congrats on the victory. Um, it was a big game for you guys. I know yesterday, pre previous to the game, you said you wanted to piss off uh, the 32-52. Looks like you accomplished our goal. H how do you feel about that? Yeah, I just feel um, obviously it's, it's a good victory. I thought we controlled the game for the most part for 90 minutes, obviously. Um, this is uh, the best, I think the best game we played at home, obviously. Um, so, you know, guys are just uh, happy and they want to continue this way at home because as you guys know, our last couple of games, we're, we're not that, we're not up to par, not up to the level that we know. So to get a victory here on the Open Cup against our rivals is uh, perfect. Um, second question, um, you, you had a, a, a big game, impressive game, but also your counterpart, Kevin Cabral, he probably had the, one of the most important games in his career. What, what were your thoughts on him? Yeah, I thought, I thought just uh, Kevin uh, was, him and Sam were one of the best players on, on the park today. I think defensively, more defensively than not, they were, they were excellent. So I, I told them, when you, when you work defensively, you get rewarded offensively. And you've seen them, one got a goal, and, and I think Sam got two assists. So I told these guys, they need to continue like that. They need to continue working. And, you know, the sky's the limit for those, those guys because they're really talented guys, as you can see. Thanks. Uh, next, we'll go to Damian Calhoun. Hey, Raheem, um, could you walk us through the end there? Um, the, 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 the whole rumble record yeah. there, what was said? Or? Yeah, yeah. I, listen, I was, I, was, uh, I was celebrating. I was uh, giving people high fives and whatnot, and then I seen a little scuffle. So I don't, I don't really know what happened. I can't give you too much detail. I just knew it was a little scuffle. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's, it's one of those games where every game between these two teams are, you know, you know I think, I think this, one, yeah, this, one, this one was the most heated one for sure. For sure, for, well, the one that I played so far. So, um, yeah, it's good. I think the yeah. rivalry, the rivalry needs this. The rivalry needs, you know, it's <laughs> not. It's always so nice. I think in MLS, and you, know, you see teams in NBA and stuff like that. We need a little bit of grittiness. We need a little bit of fight and a little bit of, you know, drama. So I thought this was perfect. You, you, you think your comments sort of lit the fire? Yeah, for sure. Game? Yeah, I, I, I wish it did. I hope it did. And I didn't mean any malice by it when I said piss, to piss them off. I think they took it the wrong way. Like I want to, like I just want to piss them off by winning, which I did. So, I, so I guess I pissed them off, right? So. All right, thanks, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with Andy Diasa. Raheem, I'm curious. We talked about this before. You are one of the, I guess, let's just say the only player that's played on both sides in this rivalry. Um, and the emotional side is, is important to me because you've seen it from one side of LAFC traveling here, not being able to win. And I used to see it, you being the host and them still not being able to win. So much has changed throughout the years, players, coaches, whatever, from what you could speak to, what gives LA Galaxy that edge? Is it a mental thing? Is it a preparation thing? Is it just everything encompassing in one? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a mental thing. They know that when they come here, it's not going to be an easy game, you know. They know, um, I think it's just like, this is the rivalry in, in general. Um, being away from home in the rival is not easy. They know it's not an easy task. So I think, it, you know, maybe it creeps up in the back of their mind. So uh, I can't give you the full detail, obviously, but me me being on the LAFC side, I knew when I came here to Dignity Sports uh, Health Park, I knew it was going to be a hard game. Uh, next, let's go with Josh Gessman. Hey, Raheem. I, I mean, when you look at it, you gave them some bulletin board material, and a lot of times I think guys shy away from that. Um, why? Why? Why do that in, in, in this particular case? Because I need to get fi guys fired up. And, uh, you know, I, I also want the drama. Um, I think... As I said before, I think MLS is a little too soft in, in, in terms of players. I think players are too conservative, too. They, you know, they don't want to look like the bad guy, but not even that. Well, I'm not even trying to be the bad guy. I'm just trying to, you know, light the fire up uh, between both sides and, and my players. So I think, you know, if, I, if it has to be a comment, it's, it's going to be a comment. And uh, I thought today the boys were excellent. We were all over them, and um, it, was, it, was, it was great to, to be a part of. Not every game can be a rivalry game. So going forward here, what 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 are the lessons taken from this? Exactly, game? Yeah, as you said that we said in the locker room after the game, like it rather like we shouldn't like obviously we're up for the for the LAFC game, but it shouldn't be like that. It should be against Houston. It should be against whoever comes here. This the same way we play today is the same way we should be playing all the the, the whole time. So yeah, it was just, uh, it was us using LAFC as a reference, but to know that. You know, it's not just LAFC we, we turn up for. It's for the whole league because we're trying to get points. We're trying to get back into the Supporters' Shield uh, realm. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, we got time for a couple more questions. Let's go with uh, Alex. Hey, Raheem. Uh, this year, you've really settled in into playing as a left back. And for a lot of years in your career, you've played all over the pitch. How secure do you feel at your position now at this point in the season? 
What do you mean by secure? Like, how confident do you feel as a left back now? Oh yeah, I feel I feel very confident. Um, um, I think yeah, I think my left back is a, the perfect position for me. Um, because I'm not that great uh, attacking wise. I'm not gonna get you goals. I'll probably get you assists, but I'm not gonna get you goals. I used to be a winger that you know try to get goals and stuff like that, but you know it's not more my game. So I think. Me uh, learning the left back position has been perfect for me. I think I have the perfect skill set for the, for the position. Uh, and my other question here: um, You were called in for the Canadian national team roster. What does it mean for you to have a chance to compete for a spot uh, during a World Cup here? Yeah, it's 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 uh it's very special to me, obviously, to be uh, called up to the national team. Uh, even the way the way the national team has been going, um, I think Canada has been the best team in North America. So it's. It's a recognition for the way I've been playing uh, beginning of this season, and I can't thank my, I can't thank anyone else but my teammates and my staff. So I'm gonna try to go there and, and give my best and, and see what happens. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. And last question will go to Salvador Perez. Thank you. Hi, Raheem. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, the win. Um, in the same in the same tone uh, about the Canadian national team. How important is the situation uh, on the road for the Qatar World Cup? Because you haven't been called on a long time. How important is this? Yeah, it's it's, it's good. That means uh, you know I'm close to maybe possibly being part of the World Cup roster. I just got to continue the way that I'm been, I've been playing uh, here at Galaxy, obviously. So yeah, I've been being called up in a long time, but uh, to be called up now obviously shows that my hard work has been paying off and. You know, I'm happy to be there, but I just want to work and I want to continue to get better for not just for not just for Canada, but for Galaxy as well. Thanks for your time, Raheem. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good night.